Hi everyone, welcome to another psdvault.com tutorial. In this video I'll show you how to create a simple abstract. Okay, to get started what I'm going to do is just create ourselves a baseline here with which to anchor our abstract to. So we'll start off with a blank canvas and we'll just grab a really large soft brush there. and we'll reduce the opacity of that down to about 60%. And we'll grab the free transform tool, just control T on your keyboard, hold it down that alt key, you can then drag the top marker there, and that'll bring up the bottom marker as well. So this is our flat baseline here, and I'm just duplicating that layer. Free transform again, and we'll add this extra bit of uh, baseline here as well. just duplicating that layer again a couple of times and what we're doing here is starting to add some abstract elements into our baseline here Okay, I'm happy with that. So what we're going to move on to now is give ourselves a new brush set with which to make the rest of the abstract image. So I'll just change the brush size down to something sensible there, about 10 pixels. Then we'll go into the brush presets. We'll give ourselves a new brush. Now on the brush tip shapes, you want to have the shape dynamics size data set up to 100%. Down in the transfer section there, we'll put the opacity jitter up to 100% and the flow jitter to about 35%. And we'll tick those three at the bottom there. That'll do for the brush. Now what we want to do is grab our pen tool just going to click once up here and once again over here and about in the middle there and, and drag to get our pen path shape drawn there. Create a new layer and then we're going to stroke this path with the brush that we just made which is already selected. you can see the brush has been applied to that path. So deselect the path there, move it to where we can work with it nicely. Okay now what we want to do is blur that, so we'll give it a motion blur here. 90 degrees so a vertical blur and 20 pixels and then we'll press Control F to replicate that blurring a bunch of times. going to move this down here and what we're going to do is just going to again use the free transform and we're going to duplicate this layer a bunch of times gradually building up our abstract image here again just transforming them in any way you want positioning them in wherever wherever whatever looks good it's kind of hard to say what does look good at this stage or not So now I've added about nine layers there. Starting to look pretty weird, which is what I want for this one. 
and I've grouped all those abstract layers into a layer group on the right there. And now I've gone back to the first baseline layer and duplicated that. And now I'm just going to rotate that around 90 degrees, make it vertical. And we'll place that over one of those little bits that we added in the baseline. And I'll do the same for the other one there as well. So that one can be centered exactly over that one. And I'll duplicate that again once I'm happy with the size and shape of this. And I place the next one just slightly above the baseline there. So now what I've done is add a bunch of adjustment layers now that I'm happy with the abstract elements that we've got there. Remember adjustment layers can be done through the layers menu and in this instance we're using levels and color balance and curves. So the curves there, the histogram line there that you can drag around. It's just a matter of experimentation here, seeing what looks good. Uh, the color, first color balance layer using the shadows tone with those values there. Second one, we've got the mid tones. And on the third one, we've got the highlights with those values. And last but not least, the levels. Well, that's pretty much completed now. Uh, I've adjusted the curves to make it stand out just a little bit more than what I had it just before. Now what I want to do is sharpen it all slightly. So I flatten the image, go up to the filter menu and use the smart sharpen in basic mode here. So using the default settings, about 154%, 1.2 pixel radius. And that's just sharpen it all slightly. Doesn't look too bad. Well, that's it for me for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you later.